Alright guys, welcome back. I am done with my eating of the food and such forth. And I just thought I'd come outside and save. And I guess redo this cutscene, because... I guess you have to use it to get in the tower every time? I don't know. I don't know, but I saved nonetheless. Just in case the power went out or something went wrong or... The game froze or all that good fun stuff. But we're ready. We're gonna destroy this tower. Like, in all the places. And I did a little bit of research before I started this. Uh, we do not get the final and fourth and final character until, like, the end of the game, pretty much. So, like, literally one place before the end of the game, that's when we get our final character. Which sucks. But... I really don't know why they don't give him to you earlier, because he becomes such a useless character at that point, unless you level him up. So, it, like, he's not some character that you just get and he's good. It's a character that he's mediocre at best, and you'd still have to level him up. So, it sucks, but it's not that bad, I guess. I don't know how big this tower is, either. I want to say it's fairly big. But I'm not 100% sure. Also, my whole, my whole entire house smells like, uh, popcorn, because my mom made popcorn. Which really sucks. She, like, she came home, and then she went and made popcorn, and then she left. That was literally all she did when she came here. I guess she was hungry, so it makes sense. I don't know where she went, first off, but she's gone. Which means it's time for me to record some Final Fantasy. So things worked out pretty good in the ways of like me eating food and then starting up the recording again. It was a little bit more than 10 minutes though. It was like, I don't know, on a, on a guess, probably like 30 to 40 minutes. Now you can't get a recurse like that? That sucks. I will stay cursed then, because I'm not really too bothered by it, I'm not going to lie. vampire -ette? Did we even meet a vampire yet? I also counted all the videos on my channel because I don't trust the video manager counting system where it says you have such and such amount of videos. I actually like went through my videos and counted all of them. And I have 922 as of me recording this today. So we're getting really close to my 1000 video special part where I, I'm going to be doing that. I'm not really, like I'm not done making that video yet, so... I have to hurry up and finish that, but... I would like to think I have time. I would definitely like to think that I have enough time to finish that. And also, that's probably going to be the first video on my channel that has an intro. So, that's going to be exciting. I might actually do an update video on, well not really an update video, kind of an update video. Uh, an update video on the 31st, because that's when my one year anniversary of this channel being made will be. So I'll probably make one of those videos. So that might have an intro in it. That might be the first, first video on my channel that's going to have an intro. Second one will be the 1000th video. Excuse me.
I also have no idea what Curse does. I could have swore it made it so you couldn't use magic, but it's not looking like I can't use magic, so... I'm assuming that I can still use magic. Oh, I can't go up a waterfall, apparently. It's not fair. We got a flame helm. And a battle in front of a door. Exciting. Also, I was watching YouTube today, and I know this isn't anything new, like a lot of people do this now, which is kind of stupid in my opinion, but I was watching YouTube, and since I watch people that have, like, good amounts of subs, like, they're in the millions for subs, um, there's, like, if you go to the comments section, you always see a whole bunch of people that are just like, I do such and such videos, come check out my channel, sub for sub, blah 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 blah, stuff like that, and it's just, I don't understand why people do it. Because when I see a comment like that, the first thing I think is this guy's trying, like, he's, he's spamming somebody else's channel to promote his own, and that's really just taking away from what the bigger channel, channel achieved. Like, the big channel that already has, like, say, four or five million subs, that channel's already grown. That channel worked hard to get to where it is. It probably didn't spam other people's channels. And... Then you see theirs, and it's just like they're trying to suck off of the other person's channel. It's kind of annoying to see. That's just my personal opinion. I'm gonna try and get all of this flame mail. All the flame items, since we're on this floor, and it looked like we were pretty much at the end. These things are annoying! Oh my god! If you guys have never fought one of these things in your life before, they're not fun. I'm glad they didn't use their attack. Oh, there it is. There it is! That's so unfair. This is why we save before we go into places. Because this could very easily be death. See that? See what's going on right now? Alright. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. This is such a gay fight! Why did they put this in Final Fantasy? Why does this exist? What is the point of this fight? All that it is, is a confusion battle, and the only way to save yourself is doing this. This is the only thing you can do to prevent yourself from dying. So live and learn. if I take my weapons off, since my my uh, fisticuffs aren't very good on these guys, I'm not going to hurt myself as much. Especially since I have such damage on me. So much, uh, so much DPS, I guess. So much, so much armor to prevent from damage, I should say. But I'm taking a lot less damage, as you can see. Alright, well, I'm going to use... I really just want to beat the shit out of them. If they could stop using Muddle 16, we would be fine. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Yes. Don't use it. Don't do it, you motherfucker. See this? This is why. This is what makes Final Fantasy mean. Things like this just hurt. Yes. Good. No. Yeah. Yes. Go, Gus. Go. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Stop using muddle. Fuck. Well, this is a, this is like the most exciting fight you guys are ever going to see in your life. I'm just going to tell you right now. Stop it. 
gonna be a full episode of me just trying to use fire. Do it. Do it now. Attack. Go. Beat the shit out of them. Stop. Yeah. Very good. This is okay. This I like. One's dead. No, it's not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're probably better off just punching them. Of course, they're still using Muddle. The one chance I had to kill one of them, I didn't even kill it. That's what went down. We just we're getting we're back we're getting butt fucked. That's what's happening. Good. Yes. Attack Furion. Go. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Beat some ass. I did nothing. Good job though. We we, we we did damage. That's all that matters. We did damage. Now we're confused. This game's awesome. The more I tell myself that, the less I believe it. Alright, we're gonna have to bring our party members back to life, I think. We're gonna have to try a new life. To get everybody to come back. And then we're gonna have to try and heal back up to full health. In the middle of this fight. Thank God people are alive again. Such an annoying fight, though. Like, if this didn't exist as a fight, then it would be so much better. Beat him up. Nope, that's bad. We don't like that. It's not even like I can protect myself from that either. Like, that's just, it's gonna happen no matter what. And Maria's dead. This is so frustrating. Now Gus is dead. All the work I just did to bring them back. For nothing. Furion, kill some bitches. Good, yes. Almost did something. Kill him. I refuse to lose to this fight. Like, I'm not just gonna give up. Yes! Killed one! Go, Furion, go! Kill them! Kill them all! I think they run out of magic, actually. Did they run out of magic? No. Oh. I spoke too soon. I jinxed it. That's what I did. Well, fuck. I guess I should probably kill the other one before I try and bring my party back to the health. Back to life, I should say. There we go. Ah, uh, life. I choose life. Not death. We want to live. This is good. I can't believe we actually made it through this fucking imp fight. But I knew. Like, as soon as this fight started, you guys, you guys all know. I looked at this, and I was like, damn, we're fucked. And I was right. We almost died. But somehow, some way, we made it through this fight. And everything's okay again. As long as we can hit him. Come on! Come on! I don't think he's gonna muddle us anymore, though. He's dead. It's over. Yes! That was the longest fight. That was the longest of fights.